Clinical studies show that the Freestyle Libre continuous glucose monitoring system is less accurate on the first day after the application. What I do to improve the accuracy on day one is that I apply a new Libre sensor 24 hours before the old sensor expires. I don't take any readings from it, I just wear it on my arm for the first 24 hours. And as soon as the old sensor expires, I activate the new one. And because I allow the initial 24 hours for the new sensor to settle, it provides me with more accurate results right from the beginning. And this is one of the practical things I've learned during four years using the Freestyle Libre sensor. And it significantly improved my overall sensor experience. And by the way, it's not something that's written in the Freestyle Libre manual, nor what someone from my diabetes team told me to do. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you nine more things about Freestyle Libre that you probably haven't been told, including how you can get your first Freestyle Libre sensor completely for free. Let's go! Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom. I've been type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel I help you navigate your diabetes journey. By the way, the 10 things I'm talking about today are applicable to all Freestyle Libre sensors that are available on the market right now. And you should know that I'm not a medical professional. I'm just sharing my own experience and what I learned. But now let's get right into it. The second thing I haven't been told is that the glucose readings from the sensor are not the same like the glucose readings from my glucometer. The Libre sensor takes readings from interstitial fluid, not from blood. And that's why the sensor glucose is typically lagging behind the blood glucose. And it can be anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. This short Freestyle Libre clip illustrates this really nicely. You can see that during times when your blood glucose is rising, the sensor readings will be lower than your actual blood glucose. And during times when your blood glucose is falling, the sensor readings might be higher than your actual blood glucose. Definitely something to keep in mind. Another thing nobody told me is that applying the sensor doesn't hurt at all. But what can hurt is taking the sensor off, especially if it's stuck really well. And if removing your sensor is painful, just try this little trick. Wrap the sensor adhesive with a few drops of coconut oil or baby oil. Wait five to 10 minutes and then simply pull up the edge of the adhesive and peel off the sensor slowly in one motion. You will literally not even feel it. Now, on the other hand, there were days when my sensors didn't stick really well. And they were days when I bumped off my sensor of the door frames. Door frames are number one enemy of all sensor users. But to avoid these situations, I use skin tag wipes and skin grip adhesive patches. These really help protect my sensor. By the way, I'll put links to all products that I mentioned today in the show notes, along with some discounts for you in case you want to check them out. Another thing nobody told me is to not overreact when I see my blood sugar going up. I mean, it's perfectly normal that your blood sugar will go up after a carby meal, right? But when I got started with the Freestyle Libre sensors, I was not used to having the blood glucose data available 24 seven anytime I scan. So I scanned a lot, like hundreds of times a day. And whenever I saw my blood sugar rising, I often took extra insulin, even in instances where it was not necessary. And you can guess what happened next. In a couple of hours, I had to treat a nasty hypo. And because I treated the hypo too much, I skyrocketed. So by overreacting, I was getting on this crazy blood sugar roller coaster. And my tip here is relax. Make any treatment decisions calmly. There is no need to rush, especially if you're new to the sensors. I found out that I make the best treatment decision when I take time to sit down and analyze my sensor data for a longer period. And then I decide if it's really necessary to make any treatment decisions and what they should be. It's definitely more effective than making treatment decisions after every meal when you see your blood sugar spiking. Another thing nobody told me was that when I sleep on the sensor, the sensor will give me very low readings, even in instances when my blood sugar is actually not low. We call this a compression low and it might happen every time when you put too much pressure on the sensor. So as I was using the sensor, I was able to find out the spots on my arm that are a no-go for me because I just know that I often lie on these spots 
and it doesn't work when I put the sensor in this spot. I will just get these nasty compression lows at night. Next thing I haven't been told is that staying hydrated really helps to get better accuracy of readings. It's such a simple thing, but it's so important and I feel like it's definitely not being talked about enough. So stay hydrated. Another thing nobody told me when I was getting started was that I can get my glucose readings automatically transferred from the sensor to my phone every five minutes. And that I can do that without actually scanning the sensor. There are third-party add-ons like Miao Miao 2 which you can simply place on top of your sensor and they transfer the data from the sensor to your phone via Bluetooth. By the way I have a whole playlist on my channel where I review and compare all kinds of these transmitters and I will link the playlist here and in the description below for you to check it out. Now the next thing is really big and it's a thing that was not even available when I was getting started with the sensor, but it is available now. You can get your first Freestyle Libre sensor completely for free as part of the My Freestyle program, if you are just getting started with Freestyle Libre. I found out that this program is available in the US and in the UK, but I believe an equivalent program might be available in other countries as well. So if this is something that you're interested in, definitely check out your local uh, Freestyle Libre website and see if some kind of equivalent of this program could be available for you. And if you are undecided, I think you should definitely try to do it. Because Freestyle Libre was my first CGM sensor and it has been such a game changer for me and it improved my blood sugar management a lot. A lot. Now as always there are some terms and conditions of these programs and I will link the US and UK program in the video description and you can go check out the exact terms and conditions of this program. Another thing I haven't been told is that using alternative sites not only my upper arm is something I can actually do. Since then I experimented with applying the sensor in more than five alternative sites and there are two which work really well for me chest and thigh. I found both of these are very comfortable and very accurate and I use them from time to time to give my upper arm some rest. Just keep in mind that none of the alternative sites is approved by the regulators so if you decide to try one of them it is at your own risk. And again I have a whole playlist on my channel where I review each of these alternative sites that I used and if you want to check out these videos then definitely click on the screen right now. Guys I made over 25 videos about freestyle Libre and there are more coming. So definitely consider subscribing, hit the bell and activate all the notifications so that you don't miss any of these Freestyle Libre videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao!